What's going on people? I'm at Easy Gym as you can see in the background and today I'm going to take you through my five top tips for building a bigger back. This is due to a lot of questions about back exercises that I keep getting through on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. If you don't follow me, make sure you follow me on all social media platforms that are missing out. So let's get started. Let's get in the gym. Shall we begin? Yeah. Alright guys, so tip number one is remember that your back is broken up into several, several sections. So what I do is I work from the bottom up. Okay, so let me elaborate on this. So I will start with a lower back exercise, lower lat exercise and gradually work my way up. So what I'll do is I'll put a few exercises in the description box for each section so you can kind of build your own workout for yourselves if you get what I mean. Now right here, people shrug. So what I'm showing you here is how I perform these exercises. But for some reason on these exercises, everyone wants to put their shoulders high. It's the same with bench press, same with back. Everyone wants to just shrug their shoulders really high and this just eliminates the whole point of the exercise you're doing. Because if you check these clips now, you see that with the shoulders shrugged up, you're not even getting a full stretch on the muscles that you're trying to work. So just relax yourself. All right, so right here, you'll see I'm using suicide grip. The reason for suicide grip, as you can see in these little clips, is so that you take your biceps and forearms out of the equation. So you're just working the back. Y'all get what I mean? Then this point here is about stretching and squeezing. It's all about stretching the lats and squeezing the lats. Stretching the part of the back and squeezing. There's no point in using your biceps to move the weight because it becomes pointless. Third point is pull from the elbow. If you pull from the fist, you will end up using your biceps. Pull from the elbow, thank me later, trust me. See my building a bigger chest video, my top six tips I think it is. I talk about angles in there. Chest is a lot simpler than the back, so with the back there's so many muscles that you need to hit that you need to just experiment with angles. As long as your form is correct and you take the other points into consideration, I say that with a disclaimer because there's some stupid ass people out there. So test out your angles. As an example, from experimenting I found out that having my hand turned inwards and my elbow high hits my rear delt a lot better than what most people do, which is a neutral grip and elbow kind of parallel to the floor. That's something that I realize. So just experiment with the angles is all I'm saying. Just try a few things out, you can feel it in the right place, then, let, then it works for you. Sometimes I watch some guys in the gym and I'm like, are they trying to show the ladies in the gym how freaky they are in bed? Because it looks like they're humping a damn machine. Of course, when it gets a little bit heavy, form does go out the window a little bit. But when you're working up to those extra, extra heavy sets, the more control you keep, the more control you'll be able to keep on the heavier sets, which will develop better growth in the muscle. All right, bonus tip, which I know a lot of you know, but some of you don't know, is body weight exercises. Do a lot of body weight exercises, like pull-ups, like rack chins, those type of things, which will also aid your development in your back. All right, guys, so those are my top five tips for building a bigger back. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section. Share, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Remember to always be true, no matter what you do. I run it, I never front it. I got my whole cool life.